It is New York Fashion Week. I have my first show in about 30 minutes, so I need to get ready really quick. I had a whole outfit planned for today, but it seems like my plans are getting derailed because it's about 10 degrees colder than what I thought it was going to be, and I'm not trying to freeze on the first day and get sick, so we're going to have to come up with something. I do have an idea though. I kind of want to center the outfit around these pants because I feel like, I feel like these are enough. I feel like these are enough for fashion week and then the rest of the outfit can be kind of boring but very functional. So we're going to go with these pants. They are from Amy Lynn. I'm also going to use one of my trusty Uniqlo heat tech thermals underneath. And on top I have this like souffle knit sweater and it is from Revolve. I think the brand is L'Academy. I will link this one. Um, I love the texture of this sweater. I think that it is so pretty and it's actually very flattering for a sweater. So this is the outfit and then I'm going to go with some boots and I haven't figured out a bag and I think I'm going to add some sparkly earrings. So I will be back. We're going to do an outfit transition. So okay that might have been the worst outfit transition of my life but here's the outfit. I love these pants. I think they're really really cool and I think that this is like I think this is good. I feel like I'm gonna add little points to toe boots and I've added these earrings which kind of tie in the silver. It's not too much but it is like the middle of the day for a show so I didn't want it to be like crazy and I think that like the vibe of the brand is like a little bit more casual so I didn't want to go like too over the top and I feel like this is gonna be the outfit. I just finished up at the Zayco show and now I'm waiting for a bus. I've been taking the bus before, so let's see how this goes. I'm back from the show. It was amazing. If you are familiar with Sabo Skirt, it is a new brand by them that I went to. It was so beautiful, very summer vibes. I loved everything that was on the runway. Like the whole color palette was stunning. It was such a nice space. It was so nicely lit. I had a great time. I met some really nice people. So a good day overall. I also didn't buy any new clothes for this fashion week, which was very intentional. I definitely didn't want to buy something like just for this week and then not wear it again. But I did kind of want to go thrifting and at least that way it's secondhand. Or I'm going to buy an accessory that I can maybe use like over and over again. That's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the afternoon and you're going to come with me, so let's go. Stand clear of the closing door. Pretty unsuccessful trip. We're gonna head back out after dinner, eat some food. So we're gonna head back out and I think I'm gonna go to the craft store. Taking off my makeup, I just did a little TikTok live. I am ready for sleep and I will see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, I am already dressed because I am running late, which is not really a surprise. Um, but I have an idea for a hairstyle that I'm wanting to do today. I'm gonna do two braids with like ribbons, I think, like kind of like ballet core sort of vibe for this. So I'm just gonna start by parting my hair down the middle. My only like key worry here is that the back is going to look really crazy. We can only hope for the best and you're gonna see it before I do. So, so the photo reference that I have here, like she's kind of like put them at the back rather than like pulled to the front. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to a showroom and then a Pilates class. And then I've gotten a last minute invite to something tonight and I have a dentist appointment right at the same time. So I'm trying to reschedule my dentist appointment because I don't want to miss the opportunity, but 
I can't get in contact with my dentist right now for some reason. They're not picking up their calls. Okay, I feel like they're like in the same spot on my head. It's just whether like the back like looks crazy. Like if there's like crazy parts, I'm going to turn around. Okay, I feel like that wasn't that bad. So now I'm just going to do little braids. Cool, now for the fun part. Okay, I feel like her ribbons are fairly long, so I'm gonna go with like that length. I'm gonna do the same on both two ribbons, and now I'm gonna wrap them around the outside here. We might be going with smaller ribbons than I expected. I don't know, it's kind of cute, but I feel like the ribbons were definitely longer. Oh, I just cut two even ones. Okay, take two, we're going to cut more, which I don't know if I'm gonna regret this. We're gonna do this much now. Also, just like a hack, whenever you're using ribbon, always like burn the edges a little bit. Um, it helps them to stop fraying. These are much longer, so they should be long enough for this look, I think. Okay, I feel like that's definitely more the vibe, so I'm gonna do the same on the other side. see out of this eye right now because I just got eyelash glue in it but this is the look I think it's very very cute um and I think that's just a little bit more than like the standard like oh the glue's gone <laughs> so the standard and I'm just gonna add lipstick and some little hoops and then I'm going to head out the door because I'm running late are definitely still bleeding, which is not ideal. But it is now time for the dentist. So the doors to the show closed early for some reason and they're not letting anyone else in. So the show got canceled. Well, it didn't get canceled. They just like overbooked it. Um, and so now we're at the back entrance to see if we could try to get in, but I don't think that's gonna happen either. Um, this is what's going on behind the back door. I don't know, it's a little disappointing, especially because some people did pay to be here and they also didn't get let in. So a bit of a letdown, but trying to make the most of the night. I was invited to this event by a PR company, but I do know that there were people who paid for tickets in the line and I can imagine how frustrating that must be. I do also understand that many things can go wrong during fashion week, so I'm not gonna say the brand, but it would have been nice to have a little bit of context before closing the doors. So this is where I'm ending fashion week and it's very glam, um, but I made some friends in line. I'm Art, I'm Chris, and we and like Erica. <laughs> it's our new friend. Yes. <laughs> and we met in the line we're not getting let in, so we ended up here. Make sure you guys smash the like button <laughs> and subscribe. Yes.